Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, in this video I'm share a an incredibly precise indicator offers impeccable buy and sell signals, exhibiting the remarkable ability to flawlessly identify potential shifts in market trends. The indicator we are talking about is the SMI MFI indicator. This indicator combines two extremely profitable indicators. The first indicator it combines is the Stochastic Momentum Index, also known as the SMI. This indicator evaluates price momentum by contrasting the present closing price with the highest or lowest price recorded within a designated time frame. The second indicator it combines is the Money Flow Index, also known as the MFI. The MFI uses volume and price to measure buying and selling pressure. By combining these two powerful indicators, we get the SMI MFI indicator, an editor's pick award indicator that is extremely powerful and gives a complete view of the price, direction, and market strength. Let's first add this indicator to the chart, head over to the indicator search tab and search for the stochastic momentum index of money flow index indicator. Select the indicator made by Andre 7. That was all that we needed to do. Now let's delve into the components of this indicator. The first element is the SMI MFI line, which is the oscillating multicolor line. The color of the line changes depending on the current value of the SMI MFI. Additionally, there is a signal line that closely follows the movements of the SMI MFI line. This signal line represents the value of an A period moving average applied to the SMI MFI line. The signal line can be either blue or red, depending on the direction of the signal. The histogram featured on the indicator provides valuable information about the distance between the SMI MFI line and the moving average line. When these two lines are closer to each other, the bars on the histogram will appear shorter, reflecting the reduced gap between the lines. The background color of the chart also changes based on the behavior of the C line. Specifically, when the SMI MFI line crosses beyond the purple lines, the background color undergoes a transformation. If the SMI MFI line crosses above the upper purple line, the background color changes to blue. Conversely, if it crosses below the lower purple line, the color changes to red. These purple lines are essentially the upper and lower boundaries of the dynamic zone. Furthermore, you may have noticed occasional green or red circles being plotted on the chart. These circles signify instances of strong overbought or oversold conditions. They are printed when a crossover occurs at an extremely high or low value, indicating potentially significant market conditions worth considering. If we navigate to the Indicator Settings tab, we can see that the indicator is highly customizable. The settings can be changed for the indicator timeframe, MFA, stochastic momentum index, color, theme, signal settings, histogram, dynamic zones, alerts, and much more. Since the indicator settings are already appropriately configured for the method we'll use, we will keep the settings at the default values. Now that we have a clear understanding of how the indicator operates, let's explore the various methods of interpreting its signals. The most common approach to reading the indicator involves observing crossovers. Different types of crossovers indicate distinct signals. Firstly, we have the regular crossovers between the SMI MFI line and the signal line. When the color switches from red to blue, it signifies a short term by signal. Conversely, if the color switches from blue to red, it indicates a short term sell signal. A stronger version of this signal occurs when the crossover takes place above or below the purple dynamic zone lines, adding additional significance to the potential trading opportunity. Another crossover signal to consider is when the SMI MFI line crosses above or below the center line. If the SMI MFI line crosses above the center line, it suggests a long-term bullish trend indicating potential buying opportunities. On the other hand, if the SMI MFI line crosses below the zero line, it suggests a longer-term bearish trend, implying potential selling opportunities despite crossover signals already working quite well. A more powerful approach to interpreting the indicator involves analyzing the divergences between the price and the indicator. Here we can see that the price is in an uptrend because of the price making higher highs. However, upon examining the SMI MFI line, we can see that it is forming lower highs. This divergence indicates a lack of strength behind the bullish move and makes it likely for a downtrend to start. On the other hand, 
we can see here that the price was in a downtrend characterized by the lower lows. But if we take a look at the SMI MFI indicator, we can see that higher lows have formed. This indicates that the downward move is weak and that it is likely for an uptrend to start. By paying attention to these divergences between the price action and the SMI MFI line, traders can gain insights into potential shifts in market sentiment. By using these methods to read the indicator, we can already enter into profitable positions. However, if we take a look at the positions that weren't profitable, we can see that these were going against the greater trend or were given while the market was consolidating. To solve these problems, let's add an extra indicator to the chart. Navigate to the Indicator Search tab and search for the Pivot Super Trend Indicator. Select the indicator made by Lonesome the Blue. Now head over to the Indicator Settings tab and click on the Input tab. Here we will be removing the Buy Sell Labels checkbox. That was all that we needed to do. The Pivot Point Super Trend is another editor's pick indicator that combines pivot points and the Super Trend indicator to identify potential trends and trend direction changes. Now that we know how the indicators work and how they can be read, let's take a look at potential entries that can be made when combining the indicators. Here we can see that the price is in an uptrend. We know this because of the price making higher highs. Along with this, the pivot point super trend is also indicating that the trend is bullish. If we take a look at the SMI MFI indicator, we can see that the SMI MFI line has crossed above the signal line while being below the lower dynamic zone line. This caused for a green dot to be printed, indicating that it's a good idea to enter into a long position. Despite this, we won't yet enter into the position. This is because if we compare the SMI MFI indicator with the price action, we can see that a bearish divergence has formed due to the price making higher highs, while the SMI MFI makes lower highs to enter into the position. When the price adjusts for the bearish reversal, let's wait for the SMI MFI line to cross above the center line. As you can see, this occurred here. By looking at the price action, we can see that it still hasn't broken the bullish formation. Along with this, the pivot point super trend is also still bullish. If we consider that there was also a bullish signal recently printed on the SMI MFI indicator, we can safely assume that the small bearish reversal due to the divergence is over and that we can now enter into a buy position. We will be placing the stop loss at the recent swing low. For the take profit, we will be target 1 is to 2 risk to reward ratio. Now, let's see how the trade plays out. Here we can see a different setup. The price was in a large downtrend. However, if we take a look at the SMI MFI indicator, we can see that while the price was making lower lows, the SMI MFI was making higher lows, indicating that a bullish reversal is likely. Along with this, after the SMI MFI pulled back to the center line, we can see that it continued back in the upward direction, making a bullish crossover with the signal line. Finally, upon checking the pivot point super trend indicator, we can see that it's green, indicating that the longer term trend switched to bullish. When combining all of these signals, it becomes clear that it's a good idea to enter into a long trade. So let's enter into a buy position. Here, we will be placing the stop loss at the recent swing low below. For the take profit, we will be targeting 1 is to 1.5 risk to reward ratio. Now, let's see how the trade plays out. 1 this trade. Here, we can see that the price was in a big uptrend. We can also see that the bullish momentum slowly started decreasing. Along with this, if we take a look at the SMI MFI indicator, we can see that lower highs are being created, indicating that a bearish reversal is likely. We can also see that the SMI MFI line just crossed below the center line after the bearish divergence, indicating a longer term bearish trend. Finally, if we take a look at the pivot point super trend, we can also see that it has switched from signal a bullish trend to a bearish trend. All of these signals indicate that it's a good idea to enter into a short position. So let's enter into the sell position. Here we will be placing the stop loss at above the recent swing high 4. The take profit, we will be targeting 1 is to 1.5 risk to reward ratio. Now, let's see how the trade plays out. As you can see, the SMI MFI indicator is extremely powerful. 
I hope this video could show you how the indicator works and how you can use it to enter into profitable and powerful position additions. If you useful this video, please hit a like and subscribe to the channel for more new strategy. See you soon. Thanks for watching our video.